Hey, Credo Mobile has a great deal for Majority Report viewers. Join America's only progressive phone company. Doesn't matter if you got a new phone or you got early termination fees, they'll take care of you. Go to credomobile.com forward slash Majority Report. Look at the link down below, click it, use that coupon code. I want to talk about this, the fight for TPP still ongoing. There were two pieces that, um, or I should say one piece that I read uh, yesterday that is uh, highly relevant, and another one, and apparently this story has been out there, but buried in the, in the TPA, the TPA being the Trade Promotion Authority, which is basically Fast Track. Well, it is fast track. Um, there is an additional program called a trade assistance program, so, or the uh, trade uh, as part of the trade adjustment assistance program. Sometimes I wonder if they don't just put all these TPPs and TPAs and TAAPs in there just to sort of uh, uh, obscure what's really going on here. But the trade adjustment assistance program provides assistance to workers who lose their job because of trade deals. The measure was introduced by Representative David Reichert, a Republican from Washington. Or I should say the measure in how it would be financed was slipped into the TPA by this Republican. It cuts $700 million out of doctor and hospital reimbursements for Medicare. Apparently, it's so deeply embedded in the bill that nobody was really quite aware of it. There was a story back in April in the National Journal, but it didn't seem to be part of the debate when the Senate pushed through the TPA. Well, it's going to be a part of the debate for Democrats in the House, and that's going to put more pressure on the Republicans to get more Republican votes. And I think we mentioned yesterday in the, um, the fun half that Walter Jones, he who went from Freedom Fries to coming out, being one of the first Republicans to come out against the Iraq War, you know, two years into it. But he is uh, also apparently leading the charge on the right against the TPP. Because, of course, you know, Obama is a, uh, it's a czar. Nevertheless, that's quite helpful. So the Medicare gu- uh, cut is slated to go into effect in 2024. Some people are basically writing it off as a budget gimmick. In other words, somewhere between now and 2024, they would probably restore funding. But who knows? You know, once it happens for uh, once it's used as an offset for one thing, once it's basically the message is out there that this is not a third rail, that you can use it to offset this program or another program, you're going to see a lot more of it. So my prediction is you're going to see a lot more coming from the Democrats, and I hope they get aggressive with it. I hope the progressive caucus gets really aggressive with this. Because if you're a Democrat out there and you're cutting uh, Medicare by $700 million, or if you're a Republican and you're cutting Medicare by $700 million, you're going to be, this is going to come up in 2016. And this is fundamentally different from the narrative of $700 million worth of cuts in Medicare for the Affordable Care Act. In the Affordable Care Act, $700 million wasn't taken out of Medicare. $700 million was cut from Medicare Advantage, and then it was used to basically fill the donut hole, the donut hole being that number between, I think it's like 1000 bucks and 2000 bucks, roughly speaking, of prescription coverage in Medicare Part D that is uncovered by Medicare Part D. It was also plowed back into things like preventative care, colonoscopies after the age of 50, mammographies, et cetera.
This trade adjustment assistance extends unemployment benefits for workers laid off because of competition from international trade. It subsidizes their health care insurance. It funds retraining programs and subsidizes job searches. However, in a 2008 study, professors at American University found that workers receiving trade assistance uh, did scarcely better than laid off workers at finding new employment. And they earned an average of 30% less at their new jobs. Compared with the roughly 10% pay cut faced by unassisted workers. In other words, when your job goes away because of trade, you really get screwed. You really get screwed. So the idea that they're going to cut Medicare to fund this program... Uh, just a joke. 